So there you are playing some melee on Slippy Online against a Netplay Falco, and some absolute shenanigans happens. You get spot dodge shine, you start screaming at your TV, and you're thinking, this Falco's probably cheating, right? Well, most of the time you would be wrong, but not this time. You see, I just got a replay sent to me from another uh, Slippy developer. The name is uh, Gervin. Actually, is, is, that, is that how you say it? Okay, so apparently it's pronounced... Gurvan. Alright, so here we can see... Gurvan. Playing against... No, no, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not saying that. I mean, come on. That word's not even banned. You could just say it if you wanted to say it. Like, what are you, what are you doing with your life? So their connect code is BRKL. Uh, I'm gonna call him Bork. I assume the L stands for loser. All right, let's just cut to the chase. Uh, here we have uh, Gurvan and Bork playing on Final Destination. Uh, on the inputs in the bottom right here, you see all of Bork's uh, inputs. So uh, see if you see anything suspicious. All right, now here's that same clip at one fifth speed. That's not the only time in the game this happens, too. Check out all these as well. So if you're watching this and you're not already familiar with Melee, then one, welcome to Melee. You should really play the game. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, and two, uh, what's happening here is that uh, Bork is uh, pressing the control stick in the uh, various directions really, really quickly to do what's called Smash DI. Basically, it's a defensive technique that's really hard to execute, um, by uh, humans anyway. And so uh, what you do is you can get some extra space between you and your opponent to kind of get out of combos by kind of like mashing the uh, control stick like this really quickly. So if you're thinking in your head, hey, maybe Bork is just really good at waggling the control stick really fast. Uh, let's set up an experiment. All right, so here we are in game and uh, we're gonna try waggling the control stick as fast as we can. You can see I got it hooked up so you can see my inputs in the game here. So let's do this as fast as I possibly can. That's about as fast as I can do it. So let's see if that was enough. All right, so what I did here is set up a Python script that will analyze the analog inputs for the matches that we just played and saw. And uh, specifically what it's gonna do is look at an analog burst IPM stat. So what this is gonna do is uh, take the uh, region for the analog stick, the possible values you could take, chop them up into these nine distinct regions, and then uh, see uh, how many regions it gets through in a certain amount of time, basically. So every time that you go from one region to another, it counts as an input for the sake of this test. And if it kind of just moves around within one, then it doesn't count as movement, if that makes sense. So, uh, you might remember from one of our uh, last attempts to find a cheater that we uh, had this nice graph of uh, what common um, IPM stats are for uh, various players like out online in the wild and slippy. And so 18 is the average, uh, this is out of a maximum of 60, uh, and uh, around 40 seems to be the like kind of human limit, if you will. So, um, if uh, what was the uh, stat for uh, Gurvan? in the match that we just played was 22. 22 is very respectable, it's a good number. Uh, what was the value for when uh, we did our experiment, try to wiggle as fast as possible? It's 39, 39, uh, right there at the, the human limit. I, I was pretty happy with that one, it was a pretty good value. But how did our cheater Bork uh, score? 60, that's right. It was an actual perfect 60. That means it's a completely new region every single frame for an extended duration of time. So the Smash DI macro is what you're seeing here, and that's the cheat. It uses a machine to hit one new controller region every single frame for an extended duration of time. One more thing, though. Uh, if you look closely at the inputs, uh, this is something that uh, Gurvan pointed out to me 
that uh, the inputs are actually extremely regular. It's not just fast hitting between values really quickly, but it's also extremely precise hitting like boom, 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 boom. And in fact, if you uh, plot out on a graph like he did, um, then you can see this almost perfect regularity. But here's the thing, it's not exactly perfect, it's almost perfect. You can see that um, what you're seeing here on the graph is the uh, um, analog values, both X and Y, um, plotted out over time. And you can see how they, they don't exactly hit the peaks every single time. And that can tell us a little bit about how the cheat was done. So if you wanted to make a macro that would do the Smash DI like this, there's really only two ways to go about it. Uh, one is in software, and the second is in hardware. So let's look at this first one first, the software. We kind of already know what this would look like. Uh, you'd basically look like Smashbot. You would have some computer program that would hook into the game engine and the virtualized uh, input that the uh, computer can use. And then you uh, press the buttons depending on the game state. It's basically how Smashbot works. It looks a little bit like this. So the main thing to notice here is that Smashbot is very efficient with its control stick movements. It goes center, right, center, right, and only on the frames of hit lag, not during any other frames on or around the inputs. And the uh, exact values are always uh, perfect. The control stick goes zero, one, zero, one. So the other way of going about it is hardware. So what you could do instead of interfacing with Dolphin and pressing buttons on a virtual controller is just to press buttons on an actual controller. Basically, you can hide a little computer like an Arduino inside of your controller and map some other buttons like the D-pad to do other things like a macro. So basically, you can uh, make it so that anytime you would hit the, like, the right button on the controller, that it would uh, map to uh, making a control stick waggle in a particular direction. And the reason that this causes the little interference, uh, the inconsistencies, is that because it's pressing buttons on an actual physical controller, you have to deal with the polling inconsistencies just like regular Melee players have to, which is why people go out of their way to you know, overclock controllers to make it so that uh, it polls as fast as possible. All right, so from this, we can infer three things. One, that Bork is using an SDI macro. Uh, two, that the SDI macro is hidden in a controller or implemented in hardware. And three, that Bork is apparently 12 years old. So I presented these findings to resident slippy overlord Nikki. Let's see what he had to say. Mm, and just like that, Bork has been banned from Netplay. I hope they enjoy the new username. Well, that's about all. So uh, if you play Melee, remember to donate to Fizzy. Later.